Okay, so tonight I'm going to the driving range where it's fuddly. It's dark outside. I'm going to put a practice session in. Why don't you come along with me and I'll show you exactly what I do in a full practice session. Okay, so ready to go, got 100 balls out. The range is busy, it's in good condition actually. So, done some stretching, set my little Garmin up, which I'll show you in this video. I'm gonna hit some short shots to start off with and build it up as we go along. So, start with some little half chips. So once a bit, about 10 warm up shots or so, I'll start to then split my practice session up into three parts. I have like a technical part, so things that I'm working on in my golf swing. Currently I'm working on closing the face a little bit in the takeaway, rotating more around my right heel. So I'm gonna go through the set a little bit, hit some shots, working on those characteristics. Also use my little Garmin for some distances as well. So that's my first part, I like to break it up with that first. In fact, let me show you this Garmin uh, launch one to quickly first. So this is my little friend I take to the driving range. This is the Approach G80 and it's a handheld launch monitor. Gives you loads of data and carry distance, club head speed, ball speed, smash factor, tempo. You can play little challenges on there as well. It doesn't only give you carry distance, it gives you estimated total distance as well. You pop it on a golf ball, it's got a little indentation, you pop it down it's just a nice little handheld launch monitor to check what you do on the driving range. It's also a GPS device as well. I will link it in the description below because I wouldn't practice without this thing because it is so handy. Okay, so that's the first section done. That's where I'll go through my technique. I'm working on club face day in square to close in the takeaway and rotating more into the heel. Out of three when I hit at the end, was crushed. Now, next third is how I break it up into three thirds. Next third, I'll go to different flags. I'll vary my shot selection. I'll hit driver, then go down to wedge, then jump back up to two iron. Try going for different targets as well. Still working on my technique, but now I'm mixing it up a little bit. Let's see how that goes. By the way, do you want to know what I listen to when I practice? Let me show you. Best podcast in the world. <laughs> Guys, if you've not checked out my new podcast, check it out, Rick Shields Podcast. Available on all of the best platforms. But in all seriousness, I'm dead cool. I listen to H, Manny Boy. I better not play that, I'll get the money tries. Right, let's get back to the practice. Also, use this time to vary the flight as well. So that was a little low shot with the pitching wedge. I'm now gonna hit one up to space. Right, <coughs> messed about, let's hit some driver shots. By the way, first, check out that. Look at that head cover. How cool is that? Someone sent me that. I think it looks like me. Okay, let's hit some driver shots.
Okay, so that is the two thirds of my practice done. I went through my technical, and then my second stage was trying to mix it up a little bit, hit different shots, play a little bit about with the situation, playing high shots, low shots, still just trying to recall some distances on the G80 as well. And then my final section is the fun section. Hit balls, have fun, try and have a challenge. I'm gonna see if I can have a challenge with someone for the longest drive. Um, and just enjoy that last section. Right, let's hit some, let's hit some fun shots. And lucky for me, lucky turns up. You're, uh, you're in my house now, not yours anymore. <laughs> so this is where my coach is. Uh, I've got some messages out down here. So what a perfect person to have some little challenges with. We're having you a few some? challenges. Nearest the pins, longest drive, shape of the shots. Okay, let's start off. Closest to 100 yards. Okay, are we going three shots? Yeah. Three shots closest to a hundred yards carry. Ah, Matthew Fryer, a hundred and one yards. Set the bar high. But this is good fun when you can set up with a challenge or a mate or just have, you know, even ask random people at the driving range. It's good to have a little bit of competition at the end because it, you know, it heightens your practice session. <laughs> just appreciate that just for a moment. I don't get many of them, I don't get many of them, Matt. So. Okay. Oof. Matt wins round number one. Okay, you set the next challenge. Um, okay, so using that, let's go 150. Closest 150. I'll go first this time. That's, that's not getting there. <laughs> it's better. One, four, seven. One all. Okay. Next round is going to be fastest club head speed with driver. Right then. If I can get over 110 tonight, happy. Okay. Happy. Teaching gear on, stiff, cold. Excuses. So we're not too worried about direction or distance. It's all about club head speed. One fourteen two eight seven carry. Wow, man, he's big. Is it saying fifteen? Wow, man, I want to come around and check this one. One fifteen. Look at you. That's a big hit as well. Two nine one carry. Okay, let's get a low down view of this one. Is that fast. 115 again. 115. You know what? That was pretty good, that. I think I'm going to struggle to beat that. Oh. I don't know. Was it? 130. Okay. Stretch it out. Okay. How many drivers have you hit already? Okay. <laughs> Despite the speed, that was actually a great drive. Oh. <laughs> Do we tie at the moment of one piece? This is it. 
recoil. Ah, disappointed. <laughs> what? Sudden death? One shot each. One shot each. Okay. Oh, that's slow. Okay, we'll have a tune. Alright, oh, alright, yeah, yeah, I get it. That's slow. Is that good? Yeah, It's the fastest one of the night, ladies and gentlemen. 116. I would say you win. <laughs> that was a good, good fun challenge. It is one very, very impressive device, this. Mega, for, for a general punt, that gives you everything you need. A bit of club speed, a little bit of ball data. Everything, it's awesome. Look at you, big boy. Yeah. 289 for 321. Standard. It's winter as well. And then you can almost you can find out what smashes and all the other information, but also if you do I like how it go um, back. did you practice swings as well, so if you're training. Yeah, exactly. You can actually start a new round. Pick a golf course that's nearby, David Hume, for example. And it'll actually pull up the first hole. And then when you hit your shot. It would track it. It'll actually give you an idea of how far you've hit it down that hole. So a good. I'd be up near that red marker then. All right, all right. Matt, that was good. Thanks for your time. <laughs> right, guys. So that was a little practice session. Um, I probably don't do enough of them, <laughs> truth be told. Um, but it's while it's time to get a bit colder at night, it's nice to hit some balls, work on your swing. And also, if you've got a bit of tech, it helps you. I'm going to finish it off. I've got a few balls left to go. Let's do a little two iron stinger montage and see if I can hit that crossbar just over my shoulder. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go and check out Matt on his channel. I'll put a link in the description. And let's finish off with some two iron stingers.